title of this video we're going to be doing a bb craft tutorial i'm going to be using some of the items that i picked out i'm going to link below all the information for bb craft they do have a youtube program so if you guys if you do youtube if you have over 100 subscribers you guys can sign up and you can do these videos as well with bb craft all the information will be linked down below basically they will give you a 40 dollar credit you pick out whatever items you want and guys, they have so much stuff to choose from. I truly, truly, truly love BB Craft. I've been working with them for a while now. And um, I just love them. They don't harass me. They're just like, I, lo I love it. I love it. I love it. And they have great products. And they're just getting more and more products every time. So they have dyes. They have a ton of beads. They have party supplies, uh, crafting supplies. They have things like resin. Um, just Anything and everything you can think of, they have. They have, like, beautiful tools. I, I picked up tools for them, jewelry-making items, just tons and tons and tons of things. So I really want to play with the Strawberry Milkshake Collection, and so I came up with this cute little bag. Hey, Cheryl. Um, it's a little baggy. I'm going to show you guys what I use for it. Look at the vellum from, from um, the Frank Garcia Collection. So pretty. Hi, Mama. I keep forgetting your name. I want to call you Misty, but I know that's not – it's Hillary. I want to say it's Hillary. I keep forgetting your name, Mom. I'm so sorry. But guys, when I did my haul for BB Craft, I'm just going to refresh and show you guys the things. So we got these things here, right? They're connector bezels. And they're gold, of course. And there's like five different sizes. Okay. Hi, Robin. And then um, I picked up the stamp set, which is here. And I'm going to play with this in my next video. I didn't get a chance to play with it in this one. I put too much, way too much thought, and, like, my time is limited with these things, and that's why it takes me so long sometimes to get these projects out. Something different, you know what I mean? And I also picked up from them. Hold on, let me grab it. I wasn't expecting to pull them now. So, in my unboxing video, I actually chose these dies here. Okay, and they are like balloons and they're nesting like shakers out of these. Okay, so perfect for Disney, perfect for birthdays. Sandra, the star universal, you know, the hearts universal. It's got this pretty bow, these cute little swirlies for the tails, the um, strings. And then some of them have, this one has a sentiment that says love. Okay, and then this one says happy birthday. Okay, so you can make a lot of cute stuff. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to, like, play with this in my next one or not. Because I did play with that uh, birthday collection a lot. So maybe I'll just, like, maybe do one and then show you guys how they look, okay? But you can already, by looking at these dies, that you got to have them in your stash. They're really, really cute. And that came with this present one. So this comes with that. It's a two-piece set. Okay? Because I was in my last video, I'm like, I don't think I ordered this. So it comes with that die set. And then I forgot to show you guys this. I picked this up from BB Craft as well. Look at how pretty this wax seal is, guys. It is a typewriter. And guys, we have so many, so many collections that have typewriters. I knew this would be perfect to pick out and play with. And this actually goes with the um, Strawberry Milkshake Collection. It goes perfect with it. So I'm going to try to incorporate that. This is how it came out. Here, let me show you a pretty one. I still have to, like, put the gold. But isn't that cute? So maybe we'll incorporate this on here. But I definitely will put the gold foil so you guys can see how it looks with the gold pen. Um, What else? And I really hope I'm not missing anything. But I want to show you guys these doilies. I already showed them in my last video. But I did not show you guys how they cut out. Okay. So let's go over these. The first doily, yes, perfect for that collection. This is the first doily, guys, all right? So you get this doily plus the little butterfly. And that's what I use on this. So this is the doily. And then here's the butterfly, okay? And guys, this little strawberry, this is not BB Craft related, but if you guys grab this collection, that little strawberry is from Urban Gems. It's this one. It's an oldie but goodie. So she probably still has some more of these. So if you have this collection, run and grab this. It's the perfect size. Look at how cute. 
And I use that 31 paper to back it along with some um, glitter paper, okay? So there's that die, this doily, okay? The next doily is this bow one. And I went ahead and I cut these out. I'm going to make just one of these with you guys. Look at how cute. Sandra, don't be missing my lives, girl. Look at how pretty, guys. Okay, use that 31. And then look at the bow. This was my favorite. This is the reason why I picked the set. It's so cute. Okay, so you guys know that that Prima paper is double-sided. So there's that one. And then we have this one here, okay, which is a heart detail one. It's got the little love. And this is how it cuts out. Isn't that cute? And you don't have to use these for this. You know what would look really cute, actually? And I should probably try this on live. We should do like a rosette here. Maybe we should do that. Let's do that. And then we'll put this in the middle because I think that will look really cute. Let me grab some crepe paper. We're going to do that. See, look, this is why I don't plan videos because stuff just comes to me. Hold on. Let me grab some crepe paper. So we can make a itty bitty rosette. Just so I can show you guys how cute it will look. We're going to go with the white crepe paper. Okay. I have to dig up my um, rosette dies. I don't know where they are. So we're just going to use crepe paper. Now this, this will look really cute with like sewn, some sewn crepe paper. Hi, Tracy. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Okay, let me get my scissors. Ooh, avalanche. So you guys can, you know, you brainstorm and do whatever you like with these doilies, but I think this is perfect. You guys know those pretty sewn rosettes that like Ebony sells and like Tara makes and how you need like a center. These will look perfect as a center and this will look great as a layering piece. So let's do that. I'm taking a piece of crepe paper and I'm just going to fold it in half because I want to make it a little thick. How do I want to do this? All right. So I'm just going to... You guys know how to make crepe paper rosettes, okay? This is not a tutorial. But those sewn ones will look great. Is this going to be too short? It might be perfect. Hey, Bevy. Hootie hoo. Are you guys enjoying your Sunday? Or whatever day this is that you watch? I love Sundays because they're like my relaxed days. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around. This is probably going to be like too small, but whatever. I just want to give you guys an example of some ways that you guys can play with these dies, okay? Now these doilies are small and they're and I love them because you guys know I love small when it comes to crafting. Everything is cute smaller in crafting. Okay. So I just went ahead and put a staple in there. Oh, it looks so cute. All right. So let's just go ahead and stick that down. I don't know if my glue gun is ready. So I'm going to put here. What did I say, Tracy? Damn, I feel like I said some bad. I actually want to use the bow. The bow one. Damn it. Now I got to make another one. But like I said, you can mix these up. I already glued it down. But let's, back, let's put this on some... Glitter paper. Where are you, my glitter paper, love? 
I did not time you out or block you loud. loud. I'm getting sleepy. I need to be careful. My finger don't twitch. The bowl's cute. Thank you. You got your order Saturday. Yay. Pretty embellishment. Thank you. Okay. So let's just go ahead and back this bowl. I don't know if I want to do the gold. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to put this on here. Because I don't want to make this live longer than what it needs to be. Okay. And guys, this is a BB craft video. Okay. So let's stay focused for this design team one. You guys can use my code Poochie5 and you get $5 off a purchase of 40 And all these items that I picked, they equal 40 but do you guys get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, this probably should have been a little bit bigger. But I just want you guys to get an idea, you know? And then you can layer an even bigger rosette, a paper one under here. And then you got your layers. You know what I'm saying? Really cute. So that's another way that you can use these little centers. Okay? Just to show you guys. And then we have this one here. Thank you, Robin. And it comes with a little feather. The feather's adorable. And look at how pretty this doily is, guys. So each doily has a different middle and a different edge. And it's a really pretty small size, guys. Like I said, I was going to make bag toppers, but they were going to be like itty bitty. I thought I cut one. I thought I folded one in half. I don't know where it is. But there's that one. Okay. And then you have this floral one here. This is what the die looks like. Okay, it comes with that center with the flower. And this is how this one cuts out. With this one, you can either, even like cut a bunch of these and layer these. That would be really cute. You know what I mean? Put them all around. That would be really cute. So there's that one. And then the last one that it came with, so it comes with a ton of these little doilies, is this one here. And I actually left the middle piece out because I wanted to cut a bunch of these. This one is one of my favorite ones um, aside from the bow one because this piece right here makes awesome. Like, you know, like when you're layering, you can just stick a couple. Of, it's just really, really cute. So this is how it cuts out. This paper is so adorable, guys. Okay, and then th this is the middle part. So you can like stick this, you know what I'm saying, wherever. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Really cute. So I plan on cutting a bunch of those in gold and other colors so I could have them for layering. Okay. So those are all the dies. I think that's everything from them. Let's go ahead and let's let's paint these golds. So I forgot to show you guys this wax stamp. In my last video, it was sitting on my desk after I finished the video. I'm like, Shh, damn it. Hold on. Oh, it's got to make a mess. So let's just go over this. So you guys can see the details of this wax seal. If you haven't noticed, I've been on a wax seal kick. I'm trying to grow my collection of wax seals, and I'm having so much fun doing it. Look how pretty, guys. Gorgeous. It's got those little lines, too, but I don't know if I want to make the lines gold, do I? The little dots, I mean. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty, guys. These are perfect for Happy Meal. Like, I still got some um other stamps coming in. And I can't wait to just explore other ideas with you guys. Because you don't have to just use these for the same thing that everyone does. You know what I'm saying? You can do different things with these. So I try to use, you know, colors that went with 31. Oh, this marker. This is one of those 
deco color. Um, let's do this one. So with some of these wax stamps, they're so busy. And when you put the gold or whatever color, the marker on it, it just really makes that design stand out. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right. So there goes that. All right. Let me show you what I did with these bezel connectors. I took the 31. I keep saying 31. I'm just like thinking about 31 collection, guys. The strawberry milkshake collection. This is what I mean. Oh, my God. This is what I came up with. I just um, took these. It comes with the clear, the top. What do you call these? The domes. And then also the connectors. So the smaller ones, guys, it was so hard to trace these. Because you guys know I got sausage fingers. This itty bitty one was so hard to do. And all I did was take one of these. Make sure you have the right one to match. Okay? Because it can be a little hard to tell. Because some of them look almost the same size. So just like that. And this is a perfect way to use your scraps. I found that these little top parts, you know, that are on the tip of the thing work the best. And so you just take the dome, okay, put it over an image. You choose what image you want. I don't know if I want to use this image. But can we get this rose here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this rose. So you see, I'm using the very, like, scrap, scrap. Okay? And then you got to, like, hold it really well. Let me get my little pen. This little pen that Monty get gifted me comes in handy. Um, do I want to do that rose or do I want to do, like, this flower? This flower is pretty. I think I'll do this flower. So you hold it and you just trace around the best that you can. All the way around. And you just take your scissors. Thank you, Tracy. And you just cut around the best you can. Cut inside the line. Hey, Ebony. Cut within the line. Okay, do the best you can. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Because, guys, I suck at cutting with scissors freehand. That's why I love my dies. So just cut all the way around. And you guys can use your um, Barely Arts glue for this. I also use that Dollar Tree Jot Glue. And it worked just fine. So cut within the line, not outside because it's going to make it bigger. So look, that's not even no perfect circle, but it don't matter. So you just take your glue. Hi, Wandy. Thank you, Mama. And you just stick it in there, okay? Like there, it doesn't matter if it's like, you saw how that one was not like a perfect circle. It doesn't matter, okay? And you guys know that most glues, they dry clear. I think almost... All the white glues dry clear. So some of them, like I only put a little bit of glue. Don't put too much glue because it is going to come up on the sides and you really don't want that. But you see how like it looks scratchy or whatever? Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how it looks when I put this on. It's going to dry nice for you. So you can kind of see the scratches of glue or whatever. You see some of it came up. Just clean that up right away and let this dry, okay? I'm using my Barely Arts glue, guys, and it works perfect. And once it's completely dry, you're going to get the perfect image. Some of these look really scratchy because of the way I laid the glue down. But again, it dries clear and you cannot tell. So I didn't make a project with these yet. Look at how pretty, guys. And the good thing about these, you can use them with any, any, any collection. You know what I mean? You could even like print out your own little logo or your own little whatever. Or you can print someone's name. You can do whatever and then just cut them out. And then you got your little connector charms. 
So you can loop a little tassel here. You can do whatever. I'm probably going to play with these in my next video. I didn't have time to do too many projects. But I wanted to jump on here and go live and do this little envelope with you guys, okay? So all the stuff is BB Craft, guys. Pucci, five. And you get $5 off a of purchase of 40 And all the stuff equals up to 40 So let's go ahead and make this little pocket. Let me show you guys the die that I use. I use this oldie but goodie. I love getting these older dies. It is a Sizzix pocket with scallop edge die. That's how it looks. And where's the cutouts? Let me find the cutouts. See, whenever I think I got everything together, I don't. I really wanted to use this Dollar Tree bag. This is from Dollar Tree, guys. And I wanted to, like, use these rosettes to, um, like, out. So, we're going to be using this trim from Ebony that she gifted me. I love this one. It's my favorite one. And, you know, you can um, do the same thing that I did. But I felt like this collection did not look too, it was, this was, like, too bright for this collection. So, that's why I made the vellum envelope. Because this collection, you got to be like, if you know, you know. Anything can like make or break it with this, with this, with most Prima. Because they're so busy sometimes, you know what I mean? Now let me find my envelope. Come on, man. Because I am not trying to do no die cutting. Where are you? So what do you guys think about these products so far from BB Craft? Where is it? I swear, I go through this every live. Every live. Every, here it goes. Boom. It is the bomb. It's so pretty. Focus, Robin. We're focused on the BB Craft stuff. So, this is how it looks, okay? And with this die, you do have to score yourself, which is easy. You just line it up. You know what I'm saying? And you use your... Thank you, Ebony. You're so sweet, Mama. Use your little double-sided tape for this, okay? So, I went ahead and I scored that. How pretty is this vellum? Oh, my God. I'm trying not to talk about this collection because this is a BB Craft video, but it's like... All right. So, let me focus. Fold it on the score line. Crease it. I know, girl, it's so beautiful. I had to order more of this vellum because it's just gorgeous. Okay, so just score it. And then you're going to put your double-sided tape on here and on here. Let me score over here, too, to make sure that it goes all the way on the edge. And I'm pretty sure there's some tutorials out there on how you can make these yourself. Okay. But I like to use my dies, guys. I do not like to measure and score. I was I was salty. I had to score this. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So let me get my score tape going. Here we go. Double-sided tape, whatever you call this stuff. You guys know. Why am I saying score tape? What is score tape exactly? Okay. We got that part. And then you can fill this with whatever, you know? Little goodies, whatever little goodies. All right, and then let's do this one. This bottom part. I gotta find my vellum dies. Guys, I'm still not done like unpacking. I gotta have half, half my craft room is still in my garage packed up. It's so terrible. One day I'm gonna get my life together, but not today. Okay, where's the little packaging? Let me put this back in here so I don't mess it up. I think I got this from Urban Gems. Tara might have gifted this to me. Oh, score tape is a brand name. Thank you, girl. I'm like, what is score tape? So let's go ahead and let this 
loose. So use this to make sure it's on there good. This vellum is so beautiful, guys. Focus, Poochie. Focus, focus. So I'm going to glue that little corner right there. Stick that little corner that overlaps. And then you just fold this over. And you got your little pocket. Okay, your little baggie. Vellum is a separate. It's like a specialty paper, girl. They sell them single sheets. They're $3 each. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Okay, so let's go ahead and embellish this. I'm going to be using this trim. And I'm going to cut it so that it's like overlapping a little bit because on my other one, it's not really showing. I love to add like trim or fabric or whatever to my projects because I know. <laughs> Baby said, dang, I keep grabbing this glue gun. What's wrong with me? So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue. I don't want to put too much because you guys can order this trim from Ebony. I will link her within this video, okay? So I want that to overlap a little bit like that. Okay. And you can decorate these baggies however you like. But I want to use this doily. Let's pick out the doily we're going to use. You got both sides. I think I like this one. Hi, Jeannie. How are you, my love? I think I'm going to go with this one. I like this one. Okay, but you got all those different doilies to choose from. Okay. And then let's pop this up on foam. So let me get my foam. Squares. I want to make it dimensional, but not too dimensional. Because I feel like with bags, you don't you, sh you shouldn't really do it too dimensional. Because it's going to get, you know what I'm saying, all messed up and transit and stuff but i do want a little bit of dimension so let's go for one. Oh, genie so sweet i've been missing you girl so all you youtubers guys if you have 100 subscribers Join the BB Craft family. I love their products. I'm not lying. Y'all know I don't lie to you. I love their products. They have the cutest things. And they're just getting better and better. So there goes our doily, our pretty little doily. And then I'm going to use some of this trim. This is from Auntie Alley. It's so pretty, though, guys. It goes so well with this collection. If you guys want me to link it, just let me know. And I'm going to cut it like right there. All right. So we'll have that there. Look at how pretty that rose is. So cute. Let me just put a little bit of glue. It's Hilda, right? Hilda. I want to call you Misty, girl. I always want to call you Misty because of your um your profile name. Look at how pretty, guys. So cute. Hi, BB. And then I'm going to use the little tags in a 6x6. Six six. I have some right here already cut. Okay, I will, Mama. Maybe we'll use this darker one because I feel like... Okay, Misty. But what about this cup, though? Like, look at this cup. Oh, my God, the cup is so cute. I don't know. So you got to be careful. Like, it's so much light going on. You know what I'm saying? You want that contrast. Oh, God. Let me see. There's so many to choose from, guys. 
There's so many in that six by six, that one piece of paper, you get so many cute tags on there. This one's kind of cute, right guys? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I like this one. So let me try to fussy cut. But this doily is such a cute little base for whatever. You can easily make these little mini bag toppers and put a cute little sequin mix in there. The middles are so cute for the centers of rosettes. All right, let me punch a hole in here. And then I'm going to put some seam binding. This collection does have like a really pretty baby blue. And so I'm going to use my baby blue seam binding because it's a lot of pink and red going on. And I do love to add like a little pop of color. Like we did with this one. Okay. So let's do that. All right, so what I did is I took my tweezers, fold this in half. You don't need much because these are tiny little tags. Okay, and you just shove that in there. Keep on pushing that through. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna clip it right there. And you just loop this through your little hole. Stick both those little tails through there. Guys, you like my strawberry nails? <laughs> I'm like, please don't chip. Please don't chip. I've been having the hardest time with my gel polish. And you pull it. Okay, now be very careful because you can rip this paper. Just pull it like that, and then there goes your little tag. My nails. This is the good hand. This is the bad hand. Don't look at that one. It's the good hand. So there goes our little... I'm trying to crunch it up a little bit. Our little tag. Okay. And then let's check out... Let's see. I'm blue. Did I make you a moderator by accident? Use your powers wisely, Bev. Okay, so we got this. I kind of want to include this wax. Wax seal. There might be too much going on. What do you guys think? Is that too much going on? And then I want to use one of these little mini die cuts. Somewhere. Hmm. Let's figure this out. Because I wasn't planning on using this wax stamp, but it's so cute. I actually like the way the tag looks behind it. Let me see. Thank you. And then we also got these little strawberries. I'm just obsessed with these strawberries, you guys. It's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on. Hmm. This is like the hardest part for me, guys. All right. I like how this looks. So let's go ahead and glue it. Let's stick it down. Because I'm not going to sit here and spend 20 minutes. Like, should I do this? Should I not? It's 2022. I told you guys. We're going with it. 
I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about it. All right, let me get my phone. And let's go ahead and layer this. Okay. Isn't this tag adorable? So you get that with a six by six. It's the perfect size. All right. And you know, I don't trust Dollar Tree glue. Really, any glue. Any foam tape, I don't trust. So we're going to add some hot glue. All right there. And then we're going to put our wax. See, man? Let me pull it over a little bit before it dries. Pull it over right there. All right, I like that. So we're going to add some foam to this as well. You got to be careful with your wax stamps, guys. Sometimes these hot glue guns, the hot glue is so hot. And I remember when I did some, it like melted it. So you got to be really careful. No, Ebony, the little strawberries are from Urban Gems. These right here. Her little X-cut die. She might have some more of these, guys. This is an older die. It's perfect for this collection. It's the perfect size strawberry. Okay, so... I'm going to do it like that. I don't want to cover up that pretty rose. We'll go right there. So I'll just glue this foam tape. And we're just going to stick that there. And we'll figure out the rest as we go. Because I liked how that looked. I got to put some glue right here because this thing is lifting up. Again, be careful. Like, I'm going to put glue, but I'm going to, like, let it cool down a little bit. Because it will melt a hole straight through. It will melt a hole straight through your wax stamp. All right. Isn't that cute, guys? So pretty. All right. Now let's figure out what we're going to do with these little die cuts. I feel like this would look cute if it was cut in a darker paper. Hmm. I do want to add this little strawberry. It looks cute kind of hanging down there a little bit. We'll keep it there for a minute and see. I got to use this bow, guys. I have to. Let me see my little scraps. And let's see if we can back it on like a darker print. Let me grab one from the 6x8, guys. Hold on. Let's get one of these like darker prints and back this. Is that like too dark? Hmm. See, some of these are like so light. Hmm. I'm going for that darker one. Forget. What about that one? Let me take some of these papers out. Oh, hell no. It's on the back of the pretty tags. See, guys, I have issues. Like, this is on the back side. Do I really want to cut some tags, even though I got all this paper? Can we get it right here? Can we get it? Can we make it? No, we can't make it. What's wrong with me? I'm so crazy about, like, wasting paper. 
we're gonna have to cut into one of these tags you see how this collection has that typewriter guys the typewriter is perfect 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 with this collection so that's also for bb craft i'm just gonna have to do it guys i'm gonna have to go for it and cut one of the tags i'll cry about it after camera after the live. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue. Just like little dots. And it has a really cute little star in the middle. On this bow. You guys know I love bows. Like, come on. Okay, so let's just stick that on there. And let's cut this out. How pretty is that bow, you guys? So cute. See the little star detail? So I'm going to fussy cut this. You guys still with me? It does show so much better. So this collection, like, it's got, like, a lot of light. So you need that contrast, but sometimes the contrast is too much. So you got to be careful. And I'm kind of cutting like in between the layers. So I'm putting, I'm sandwiching my, my scissors in between those two. So that when I cut the back paper, it's cutting behind it. I hope that makes sense. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Barry. So when you're fussy cutting, do that, guys. Okay, go in between the two papers. I have it like my scissors at a slant. It makes it so much easier. So guys, if you're just joining, I'm using the BB Craft products and we're decorating one of these little baggies. And um, I'm using the doilies, all the little doilies that came in the die set. Came with so many cute doilies and each one has like a little center and this one of these has this cute little bow okay and let's do this one so i was too thirsty to play with this collection i'm like i gotta use my bb craft products on with this thank you so there goes our little bow i don't know where we're gonna stick it it's kind of big hmm. that's so cute i might have to stick it there guys i might have to stick it there i'm gonna go with it there okay you guys can put your bow wherever I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Then we're going to have to find somewhere else for the strawberry. It's so cute. So I'm just going to put a little foam right here. I'm going to cut this in half. Less than half. It's too big. Let me cut a little shorter. I don't want my tape to show. Yes, that would look so cute, Cheryl. But then we're going to cover up the star. It's got to be a tiny one, so we don't cover up the star. Yeah, let's try to put a tiny one in there. Damn it, I put it on the wrong side. Okay. Thank you. The typewriter goes perfect with the collection, you guys. All right. So I'm going to put another foam. Because it's not touching this tag. I want to I want to glue it to that tag. Secure it down. Do 
These doilies are so cute. I wish I had the time to like make a bunch of projects with these. But I gotta move on, guys. Or I'm just gonna get even more backed up. Okay. Stick it down right there. Look at all the damn glue strings. There we go. I think I had a little more further down. And then I'm just gonna like, you know, fold it a little bit so it can be dimensional. Look at how cute, you guys. I wanna stick the strawberry somewhere, but I know like I'm doing too much. I know I'm doing too much. I might have to leave the strawberry out, but it's so cute. Okay, so now I want to add some bling. I'm going to go with one there. I'm going to stick it right here. Let's do a bigger one. Thank you. I'm going to stick one, tuck one here. There we go. On top in the center. Will it stick right here on the edge? I don't know if I like that there. Stick it in there. I like for these to kind of peek out. Just a little peek. Yeah, I like that. Let me see. I feel like I'm covering too much of the doily though. Saying I'm just gonna go on the back seal. I think it's too much, guys. I'm gonna leave it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then one more. You know what? Let's wait for this third one. And then um, I want to bring some more of that blue. So I use this nouveau. The vintage one. These vintage drops, guys, they are matte, okay? So they don't give you that glossy finish. They're going to look like this when they're dry. This one's dry. So for this one, I added it in the middle of the butterfly. And then I put some right there, okay? So you can see how pretty these doilies are. Look at how gorgeous these doilies are. So cute. All right. Let me put some of these. Practice on a little thing first to make sure that your nouveau is run is you know running good. All right, all right. Where are we gonna put this? Let's do one here, a little baby one, a bigger one, and then hmm, let's just do a little one here. All right, if it has a little peak, don't worry about it. The doilies are from BB Craft Mama. I'm going to have everything linked down below. Okay, guys? Use my code Poochie5 so you can get $5 off of 40 and everything um, equals up to 40 And then you guys can even add these little connectors that we did as well. I use that same paper. You know, you can hang these, like the little baby one. There's a little baby one. You can hang that and hang a charm. But I'm not messing with these today. I'm just going to, I'm just showing them to you guys. Okay, they, they're so cute. You get all these different sizes. You get five different sizes. Okay. And I just use my scraps. And your Barely Arts glue. Whatever white glue you have, you can use. Doesn't have to be like an adhesive that's for, um... You know, metal or whatever, it does not matter. I have that dye to make pouch. Don't ask me where it is. I went crazy looking for it. I know, girl. I was looking. I'm like, I need to use that dye. And I was trying to find it. Okay, so here is our embellishment. Our little baggie. 
I want to add this little strawberry. What if I took it in like that? Is that too much? Mm. I don't want to like, I'm going to make myself go crazy with this damn strawberry. <laughs> I like it right there. I'll, I'll put it right there. Yeah, let's stick it right there. I can't leave my strawberry out. And let me add one more jemmy. The doilies are from BB Craft, guys. This is a BB Craft video. I'm going to show you all the doilies again. I'm going to go over them again. I don't like that right there. Guys, I just be going crazy with these gems, like where to put them. I'm just going to stick it right there. Okay. So there goes our little envelope. It's a little busy. I don't know. Here's my first one. Okay, and you can put whatever goodies in here. So let me show you guys these doilies again. All right, this is the... I don't even know which one this is. I forgot. But I'll show you guys all the doilies. Let's move this stuff out the way. So I just was really thirsty, guys, to play with this collection. And so I wanted to create something cute with the doilies. And this is what I came up with. So you guys can let me know what you think. So you get this one here, right? And it makes this little vine doily. And then you also get the little tiny piece. The little die like that. And these are perfect for like layering. You know what I'm saying? Like different color here. And then we have this doily here. I'm going to link all the stuff below, guys. Okay. And that doily makes this one with the little flower cut out as well so with each one you get these little center pieces okay and then we have the bow one this bow goes to this bow here this bow guy okay and that's what it looks like so you get all these in one set there's a lot of them this heart one that we did this with okay these will be perfect for the centers of rosettes and you could just use this as, you know, to decorate whatever. And then we have this one. That's the one that I just used right now. So this is how that doily cuts out. Really pretty, guys. And then the little feather is somewhere. Here it goes. The little feather is so cute. It is, guys. All this stuff from BB Craft, I'm so happy with the stuff I picked out. Like, I have no regrets. And then the last one is this doily here within the set. It comes with this butterfly. And that is the one that I use on this one. Okay. There are so many things you can do with doilies, guys. So I think this is a must-have in your stash, right? And then the wax seal, of course, is from BB Craft. This is what it looks like. We have so many collections with this typewriter, guys. This will go for so many different things. And then, of course, the connectors we use within this video as well. Okay. And you get a big bag of them. And they're six different sizes. So you get a cute little container. And it comes with two baggies. One has the connectors. And the other one has the domes. And again, you just use your regular white glue with these. They're so cute, guys. Okay. So that's it for this video. Oh, my God. This video is an hour long. No way. So... You guys, I'm going to link everything down below. And then on the next BB Craft video, I'll be playing with some of the other products. Okay? So I'll link everything down below, guys. I forgot to show you guys this wax stamp on my haul video. But I'm going to link the haul video as well. And it's so cute. All right? So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this live. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys.